Hey boys and girls, it's Miss Webb, and today we're going to read a story. And this story is called The Little Mouse, The Red Ripe Strawberry, and The Big Hungry Bear. Now, I chose this book because it's springtime, and springtimes are when strawberries get ripe. So, if you're like me, you really love strawberries. Hello, Little Mouse. What are you doing? Oh, I see. Are you going to pick that red ripe strawberry? But little mouse, haven't you heard about the big hungry bear? Little mouse is wanting that strawberry and it looks yummy. Oh, how I how that bear loves red ripe strawberries. The big hungry bear can smell a red ripe strawberry a mile away. Especially one that has just been picked. Oh, little mouse looks worried now. Look at his little face. His eyes are big. He's worried. Boom, boom, boom. The bear will tromp through the forest with his big hungry feet and sniff, sniff, sniff and find the strawberry. No matter where it is hidden or who is guarding it, he put a lock on it, or how it is disguised. Quick! There's only one way in the whole wide world to save a red ripe strawberry from the big hungry bear. Let's see what that is. You think you know? Oh, we cut it in two. And share half with me. So little mouse is gonna get half and I am going to get the other half. And we'll both eat it all up. Yum. Now, that's one red ripe strawberry the big hungry bear will never get. The end. And Mouse was so full, he had to take a little nap. Now, I want you to think, when you read a story, we've talked about characters. So remember in this book, who was the character? That's right, it was a little mouse. Now, we also talk about setting, which is when and where the story takes place. So, when it takes place is usually mm, daytime, nighttime. And if you think about this story, little mouse was out, he was picking a strawberry. So, that's probably something you would do in the daytime. If it was nighttime, he would be in his bed fast asleep like you are. So, and where the story took place, were they inside or outside? You've got it, they were outside. So that's where strawberries grow. And one more little thing before I go. Little Mouse had a problem and we're gonna talk about his problem and how he solved it. Little Mouse's problem was that the bear was going to be coming for the big red ripe strawberry. And so he figured out how to solve that problem. He cut it in half, that's two equal parts, and he ate one half and he shared the other half. And that's how he solved that problem. The strawberry would be all gone when the bear got there. All right, have a good day and I will see you next time. Bye.